here. Anthony here. Michael out today. We hope he feels oh, better. Oh, yeah. We miss him. We miss Michael. But ENN, of course, as always, is brought to you by Security Dodge. Go see Michelle Scalise Come and... Come get some! Yeah! Hey, guys. How are we doing today? Oh, I'm swell. Fantastic. It's been a fun day. I think so. I've, enjo- I've enjoyed the show. And then, of course... We had MLB Network on, ESPN had it on, uh, the Shohei Otani press conference, which of course we'll get into a little bit more here as we roll along. But first, before we do anything, the most important thing we do is say good evening to Don and Peter. I think you've got to be a cold stone killer to be an executive in the National Football League. I think it's a stone cold killer. What did I say? <laughs> I didn't know. I gotta tell you, it's a hell of a drop. It can make the flood region next year. Yeah. I gotta start. I gotta start putting that. Uh, I gotta yeah. start putting that together. I give it's myself true. like a two week break. Before no, I start take a break. Breaking those drops again. It's time. All right. What about uh, Richard and Don? This can make it. Give me one, two, three. Walt Frazier, Frank Gifford. Derek Jeter. Wow. Well, again, it depends on the era. If you're talking to somebody that's Derek, under the age Don, of 50, they would have Jeter. Well, what don't we yell at me? Just answer the question. Richard, Richard feels very comfortable, which I guess is a good thing, right? No, I mean, he ha- you have to understand, it's not his fault. He <laughs> needs Don to just hurry <laughs> up and shut up so he can get on to the next thing he wants to say. Do you understand? I do. I do. And then, of course, we have this again. Don, 50, just they would have the Jeter. Well, why don't you yell at me? And hi, Peter. By the way, I don't want anyone to think I'm in the bathroom. I just had a mouthful of salad. Thank you. Is that what they're calling it now? Is that... Is that uh, about mm, 15 minutes left to vote on Drop Madness. Dan, 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 dan. Guys, a couple of close matchups today. Let me just pull them up here. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Is that so? Oh, yeah. There's one There's yeah. one that is that is really, really close. There's a couple. Uh, K People Suck, the 11 seed in the troubling region, actually has uh, a 4% lead right now on Don Chris Russo floats on air. Ooh, really? So that's a potential People upset. suck is beating Chris Rosso. That's Chris Rosso. He's gone. He votes on air. The 11s are out. The 11s are out for blood in the nether region. Danny Sausage beating Bob Costas. We saw that coming. That's a that's a hell of a that's a hell of a drop in the nether region. Um, I'm not shocked. You know, you know what you should be shocked at. I think this is I think this is shocking. Personally, what is your take on Sausage? There, there's a team that came in. They had all the hype. They could have been Kansas, mm-hmm. let's say. I don't know what happened. Maybe they got an injury in the tournament, but... Wake up, Flip. In danger of going home. Really? First What's the score? It is 54 to 46. I've got a team that stinks! Now, as we know, the unfair advantage, like yeah. all the Blue Bloods, yeah. a Don yeah. Yell, yeah. no that's, matter where you see it, it doesn't matter. it really does happen. And chance. I knew this was going to happen, yeah. but uh, Don, thanks for the call. Is gonna is gonna lose. It's it's somewhat close. Now look, you still 56, have a chance here. Uh, was it uh, fifty five to forty five? There's still twelve minutes left, but with over a thousand votes. What about what about hit the post by the backhand? That one won. I believe it's that up there again. is in the lead right now. Oh yeah, it's, it's big. It's cruising. I'm, I'm gonna really. No, I'll it's be I'm gonna be in a way if this wins. <laughs> it's cruising. I don't think it's gonna win, Don. But it might. It's definitely gonna win this. Round now again, TMKS ESPN on Twitter. Go, go vote out for and God's vote. sake! Don't just hear us talk about it. Be a part of it. Now we're seeing it again. Shohei Otani speaking with a new interpreter, uh, saying that he had. By the way, no. that interpreter has also, I now heard, already been accused of of Don't doing say. inappropriate things. Yep. Wow! Don't yeah. say it. Already didn't, today, didn't, didn't, the new one is already doing other things. I, I can't say what. That didn't take long at all. He looks yeah. like somebody, doesn't he? Who? Oh. I don't know the interpreter. The looks- interpreter. I know, I know. You think it's Eric Spolstra? It's, Good call. That's it. You think it's Spolstra? Right. He's, he's giving Spolstra. Is he not? Do you think Spolstra, Spolstra just got a nice contract? I don't think he needs the money. No, but he, I don't think he, he, needs he the does money. look a he's little bit like Spolstra. Spolstra. That's right. Big Spolstra vibes. <laughs> so what happened here was Shohei Otani said the thing that we all thought was a possibility, right? We were talking about all the, the horrible possibilities, and we were also talking about the horrible possibility as well that He may have had no knowledge of this. And according to Shohei Otani, through his interpreter just now, moments ago, he said he had no knowledge this was happening. He never bet on baseball. He never bet on any other sports. He never advised anybody to bet for him. And any ideas about he transferred money to somebody? No. It was all through his interpreter, Mizuhara. He was the one who transferred the money. He had access to transfer the money. He told the people that he was transferring the money to, I'm in talks well, with Shohei. You know what it's he said? Good. It's you know fine. What, you know what Shohei actually said when they accused, when they said, "We've no, you're the one who's responsible. His actual response. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> That's what he said. Mm-hmm. That the thing exactly is exactly what he said. We may never be able to get to the bottom of this. No. Because if he had total access to Shohei's account, 
how does he prove theft? And and, and and how how are you gonna be able to get to the bottom of it? Because the way to get to the bottom is all right, did Otani send the wire transfer? Well, yeah, technically he did, but it was through his interpreter's access. So there there's no way you're gonna be able to get resolution to it because there'd be no paper trail. It'd be hard to do. Otani the- could be lying. Now the thing they could find out about is whether he was the one doing the gambling. Which but he also far, denied. But 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 as far as whether he was funding it or whether it was stolen, I don't know if we can ever get resolution because this guy sounded like he had total access. Yeah. So but ultimately, the way, it's probably going to be, all right, he had the access, he stole it, and Otani's going to be fine. Okay, but let's suppose, let's suppose Shohei is as big a rube business-wise as I am. Not very bright. Hmm. He doesn't have anyone else laying an eye on his finances who would go, hey, Shohei... What's up with blank? Like he just has, like the interpreter would have to be dealing with a business manager. It is an interesting point that right? like the interpreter is also the guy who's no, handling the, the money. Right, the interpreter, hold on. Or Real no quick. one else is handling the money? The interpreter just has like a link to his QuickBooks account and he's just like, I got uh, it, don't worry. Now the no interest- one else. This guy's worth <laughs> a billion dollars. I mean, he's not worth it yet, but he's going to be worth He'll a billion now, dollars. Like, yeah, I don't, now, if, if he married someone like my wife, then I would think the wife would be able to be the one to say, where's all this money going, Shohei? But I don't think she's going to be the one to blow the whistle on her own husband. But she you know, she may know. Like you said, is there somebody? Well, she just married him. I think she'd want to know what's in the account. She might be paying attention to it. Where, where's all this money going, Shohei? Oh, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. You think New York Post would consider going with the headline, Shohei the money? Oh, wow. That'd be something. I always go as far, not that I read the papers, that they might have used it already. Show, yeah, Shohei, the money could already be there, right? Yep. The uh, the actual quote, I've never been on baseball or any other sports or never have asked somebody to do it on my behalf. I have never went through a bookmaker to bet on sports. Shohei Otani threw his interpreter at his press right, conference. But this, and if this is a Greg Anderson situation like with Barry Bonds, what if it's, hey, he was betting. He was funneling it through his interpreter and he's willing to take the fall. And by the way, Don, you kind of mentioned it too. Just like, you know, for, for a guy that, that he relied on Mizuhara since he's been here. To be like his right hand, to be the guy that helped him transition into this country, to be a baseball player, to do all the things that he needs to do in order to be the the successful, very successful baseball player that he is. And now, all of a sudden, that's getting ripped away from him. He just got traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Like, this is another new thing for him after getting so comfortable in with the Angels. I know it's still L.A., but L.A. at Jace in Anaheim. And... Somebody that you trusted, somebody that apparently you trusted enough to hold all of the wealth of money that you already have, stole from you and has been stealing from you for quite a while. This started in, what, 2017, they said? This is when the payment started? Mm-hmm. It, that's got to be heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, sad, all of it. If, if, if this is the exact account and Otani is telling the truth, this is just really an unfortunate business decision by him. And just uh, he's going to have to build that trust back up with anybody that he comes in contact with now going forward. Or just, you know, realize that you just can't fully trust everybody like that. Right? You're going to have to vet them in some way. Unfortunately, he learned the hard way. Peter, I mm-hmm. have some, but, you know, not, to not, what you want. On, not to put a damper on everything. I have some fantastic news for you. The they, Commanders are in on J.J. McCarthy. You know, I was going to I was gonna bring that up later. If you want to go to that now, No, no. What were you going to say? Give me something good. Uh, the Yager bobbleheads have been found. Oh, yeah. yeah. They've been found. Damn right they have. I saw that. I'm happy. Uh, you you got to Just got it. You got it. You got to hear this. The Penguins were notified last week that a special cargo recovery team. We got a team now. We got mm. a team on this. Negotiated the return of the stolen property to a sh- secure warehouse located in Ontario, California. Mm-hmm. Where were these coming from? Where did they go? That, that's another story for another day. The truckload arrived in Pittsburgh today and is expected to be delivered to PPG Paints Arena within the next week. And you can redeem your vouchers for those if you had uh, a ticket for the Auger Bobblehead Day, Saturday, April 6th, or Sunday, April 7th. They have been found. Uh, I'm so The great national nightmare is over. It really is. How is it they were able to find the Yager Bobbleheads? However, <clears throat> when I was Just flying kidding. from, uh, where, where was I? Do you guys remember when I was doing the show from some WWE PLE like six months ago? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I arrived there and I told you guys, I'm like, damn it, I left my iPad on the plane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They still haven't found that, have they? No. No. I literally, within a half hour of leaving the plane, wrote them and said, it's in the pocket, it's in front of my seat, it's an old iPad, blah, blah, blah. Not anymore, it's not. Gone. No, it's gone. Well, same thing happened to me in Ottawa. Landed in Ottawa, cab to the <laughs> hotel, take my iPad out of the bag, iPad's not there. Crap, left it. 
go right immediate to the website, filed the missing report, spoke to somebody, did the same thing you did, explained exactly where it was. Yes. I'm sure the plane was still not cleaned yet. <laughs> right? Ning yet. I did. It, it came back like six months later. No kidding. It came in the mail. It's now Mark. It's now uh, Jalen's iPad. That's nice. Because the technology changed what, considerably the in the six or seven months I waited for it to come in. I'm trying to see if I could find the when this happened. My lost item thing. It's but, probably been around six months. All right. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden you look in the mail and there it is. That'd be amazing. After you've already moved on, you've, you've already downloaded everything into the new computer. It could be Bear's iPad. He could use a new iPad. He could use a new iPad. Mm -hmm. Well, save it for the kids. That's right. That's right. Future. What, what was what was Guadalupe? Guadalupe. Yeah, Guadalupe. As Michael Guadalupe. Says. Guadalupe. Sorry, Guadalupe. not Guadalupe. It's very strange that he says Guadalupe. Because he, he baseballs it. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, I'm going to give you the Yankee starting lineup brought to you by oh. Serta Pro Painters. We're back. It's back. Um, Yay! And in, in all the beauty that, that, that usually comes with the lineup, uh, the Yankees don't play in Mexico till 8, so we don't have a starting lineup, but we do have the starting pitcher. Uh, oh. Luis Serna will be starting for the okay. Yankees uh, in the other exhibition against Mexico to wrap up spring training. Big news. Big news. It's exclusively, it exclusively on the S app. On yes. the S app. I don't know if you heard that. Wow. Uh, that's the Yankee starting lineup brought to you by Serta Pro Painters. When choosing a painting professional for your home or business, the choice is simple. Choose happy. Choose Serta Pro Painters. Um, some interesting stuff happened on Greeny today. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Don, I'm sure you heard about this. Um, Greeny, of course, got the text from Michael talking about Northwestern versus the Jets. Uh, last uh, on the show on Friday, Greeny got wind of it and, of course, responded. And he's mentioned it on the show today. Let's take a listen. Friday, I was in, at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn to watch my alma mater play and win a thrilling game against Florida Atlantic in round one of the NCAA tournament. And on my way home while celebrating and just being in the best mood I've ever been in, I get a text out of nowhere from Michael Kay. And he just sent me a note, would you rather see Northwestern win the NCAA championship or the Jets win the Super Bowl? And I actually thought about it for a minute and I would say if it wasn't for my kids then I would say the Jets oh, but my okay. daughter is a graduate of Northwestern my son is a current student at Northwestern it's something that we share even more than we share the Jet thing I mean my son lives and dies with the Jets the same way I do but there's a direct connection to the university that is so powerful for my family Palpable. Stace went there too um, that I would take that because it's something that we would share differently and Michael Kay wrote me back that Peter Rosenberg thinks I'm crazy and that I should say the Jets and I said well does Peter Rosenberg have kids and the answer to that came back no and so that's sort of where we are so did we miss that no, middle that should make sense no now. but did yeah. we miss that middle no, text there was a little was, bit missed there. was something was something that's left out that's a bad out? job out of Michael oh, well, yeah, Michael, yeah because because Peter was red hot about this yeah, in the meeting I know. exactly so I, I want to I, hopefully someone reports this to Greeny the way Greeny explained it now makes sense because Greeny said if not for my kids the answer is Jets. The The kids part is a huge caveat sure. because there are people out there who are obsessed sports fans who would say they would rather their kids get to have uh, one better night. As long as they didn't, you ice know. Ice cream Sunday. They have an ice cream. <laughs> as long as they have their favorite ice cream at Carvel, that would be more important than me winning a championship. So when you, when you bring the kids in, it changes everything. But he answered. He said, if not for his kids, the answer is Jets. Jets. Yeah. That's it. To me, that's the whole answer. Yeah. Adding the kids part caveat, Left out now you're changing it into a family conversation, blah, 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 blah. That's totally fair. Yeah. But he gave the answer. And he said, and he said he would, it would basically be Jets, but because I have my now, family and my, because I have my kids and I will, well, it's Northwestern, it's Northwestern. I will say this about the, 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 the school thing. The Commanders are a huge deal to me. Mm -hmm. They're the only team that I've been like passionately rooting for nonstop, essentially, since I was like six years old. Right. I love my commies. Six or, six or seven, whatever it was. When I went to Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, and I was like a freshman and sophomore, and one of my dear friends, JJ, was like the star player on the basketball team. The, the way I felt about that team... Nothing compared to it. I traveled. Right. I went to all the road games. I was living and dying with every jump shot. So I, I understand that the connection is deep. Now, Northwestern's a bit bigger than Bethesda Chevy Chase High School. A little. But I do get that. But the, the point is, he answered. The answer is Jets. Thank you, Greeny. The only school I didn't get into was Northwestern. That I applied to, that is. Well, that was the only one you really pushed yourself, let's be honest. Right, exactly. That's right. That's how I feel. I always say to everyone, the only thing I didn't get into was Newhouse. Well, that was the hardest thing I applied to. <laughs> I did get into Newhouse, actually. You got into Newhouse? I got into Newhouse. And you didn't go? Money. 
Because they wouldn't offer you any money? Not enough. <laughs> not enough. Isn't that nice? He's so smart. Wait, which part? Is it nice that he was smart enough to not spend the money? Or smart that so nice that he got into Newhouse? Yeah. No, no that kind of bums me out because he didn't get to go. I'm sorry. I almost wish you just told me you didn't apply. I didn't apply. All right, changed good. my mind. Because now uh, I feel bad. Now, A, I'm, I feel bad that I know he's smarter than me. And no, B, well, again, you have to understand. Look, Fordham took a dip. They they brought in Michael. Now I'm there. So clearly, like, the, the no, acceptance but, process but is really got, taken. But you did get into Newhouse. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. What else? What else was on the, on the stretch of your, of your list? It really wasn't. It really wasn't much. I went to. I chose Missouri because it was the number one journalism school. You're a, you're a big Kareem time. Rush fan. Yeah, big Kareem uh, Rush fan. Uh-huh. Uh, Fordham, and I had Fordham, and then I a couple of the Sunnis, and that was really it. Was really it was really going to be Syracuse. It was going to be Syracuse or Fordham. Wow! Really. And you got you got it in new house. Yeah, and I think. And, and, Did you and, apply for money? Yeah, it just did that. In, in the What's words wrong? of Michael K, how's it working out for me? That's not uh, not well. I don't know. I, I agree. <laughs> uh, Greeny also I had an interesting so thought. Happy. <laughs> Thank you, Morris. I miss Morris. Um, Greeny had one more thing to say, and this is an interesting take about UConn. Connecticut would make the playoffs in the NBA's Eastern Conference. I don't think that's UConn is unfairly good. Yes, they are. They're ridiculously good. This tournament is the UConn Invitational. They should just change the name of it. They should actually just give out the UConn trophy to whoever else wins okay. and just put them to the side. No one will play them within 10 points. They've won two games. They're going to win four more, and no one will play them to a single-digit finish. If we put them in the NBA's play-in, I think they might get out of that. Like, they might win that tournament. If you put them in the he's Eastern Conference not, play-in, no, you realize not, right now, if the season no, ended no, today, Atlanta no. would be in the play-in in the East. Stop They're yourself. eight games under Ugh. 500. There's some bad basketball in the Eastern this Conference. This is what I'm saying. No. I give you kind of punch's Stop chance. In the big no. Eastern a Conference. punch's <laughs> chance. Somebody would actually get hurt. You know, they'd get, he, he can't, he's, he's being, I, I know, know what he's being fun. Is, is it a 48 minute game? Is it a 40 minute game? Are they playing quarters? Are they playing halves? I mean, get, stop, Greeny, stop yourself. I, I am, <laughs> I, listen, I'm not even going to say it, but I think that if we went to high school together, uh, there may be more than one occasion that I locked him in a locker. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is um, well, Wo- Woj bomb, Woj bomb, Woj bomb, Woj bomb. Don't, don't play around with us. It better be real. Toronto Raptors center. Jonte Porter is out of the lineup and is subject of an NBA investigation into irregularities on prop betting involving him. Ooh. That's not good at all. That's Welcome to the shoot, that's Arrow not, Baby. That's not just betting on basketball. I love it. That's like the worst kind of betting oh, no, on no. yourself. Well, I love it, though. <laughs> as, as, as long as it... Here's the thing. As long as it's not an under... If you're betting overs... It should never be... Don, it shouldn't even be illegal. More it should it not should even be. be illegal. I mean, I get it. it should be because your team could work <laughs> I around. It shouldn't be illegal. Rose, well, I better my team to win. Right, I right, know, but that does help. By the way, if I'm judge, that does help. Yeah. Well, no, betting but, on your team to lose is way worse than but, betting but, on your team but, to but win. But also, you're also not caring about whether your team wins or loses. Why is why is he taking the logo threes? You know, in, in a one-point game, you know, right. late. Or they're up 26 <laughs> and he's taking you, logos. You've, right. seen the, you've seen the videos of, of, of fans telling a guy on the bench, it's like, hey, man, you need like three more points for me to hit my parlay. And then he goes out there and he's taking a three when he probably wouldn't need to because he's up by 15. Oh, like, and boy. again, that's not... And that's not insider trading or anything. It's like, hey, man, can you shoot another three? It's like, sure, I can shoot another three. Tell you what, I, I think I'm going to have Marco and Jalen get into music because by the time they get older, there may not be sports. Guys, we only have a couple Twitter. more minutes. Let's get to Drop <laughs> yes! Madness. The oh, results yeah. for today in the Flub region. The three seed Peter advances. Glaf has full. 56 to 44. Also in the Flub region, we go chalk. Hit the post, but the backhand, that one was. And it really wasn't close. 64 to 36. Took an early lead and just coasted all the way through. I hate Jacob Perry. Oh, my. <laughs> Jacob is who got that in the system there, Tom. That's right. And that's who uh, I believe that was all. Great job kinda, by Jacob. Unfortunately, that, that really advocated hard for that drop to be in there. It's a great drop. Um, so it's really on all of us, and I'm not going to just put it's it a on Jacob. It's a wonderful drop. In the funny region, the three seed advances. <laughs> See ya. 55 to 45. We do have an upset in the funny region, the 11 seed. I've got a team that stinks. And we have to say goodbye to Wake up, Flip. 54 to 46. It was a close one. No, listen, Flip, is it's a great drop in terms of usage, but, you know, well, I here, can here, see. I, I get it. Here's the good news. Moving forward, Flip will do enough things for me to say that live plenty of times. Yeah, oh, go. my goodness. Wake <laughs> up, Flip. In the troubling region. That might have been live just now. <laughs> we have the three seed coasting. Your face. 
against the freaking television screen. It's gonna and go you can't video. remember who didn't bunt. Don yelling, 76-24. I don't even have to name it. Don yelled. Well, uh, who, who, who'd it beat? Uh, it beat uh, what I thought was a pretty good draw. You get like a rogue piece of sand in the wrong hole. Yeah. I do enjoy that one. It will be going up against an 11 seed. Oh, stop. Wow. A Don Rand. He's Chris Russo. He's God. He floats on air. Does not make it. And that was a remote. I, I got to tell that you, I, I'm shocked that the Chris Russo did, did not go. I mean, the yeah. Michael people suck. It just shows that, you know, whatever, no matter what Michael says about himself and how much he constantly makes himself an underdog and nobody loves me and blah, mm. blah, blah. People There's want love. to hear some good old-fashioned Michael K. And somebody who's become a staple in Drop Madness, and I hope he knows it, Paul and Trenton. He stinks! The three seed, 74-26 over Danny DeVito, Dan Grassa, and one more upset. The 11s were Ooh. out to play in this tournament this year. What is your take on sausage? Danny, 66-34 <laughs> over Bob Costas in the me? nether region. Eight more matchups tomorrow. That's going to do it for Drop Madness oh. today. Andy and Andy brought to you by Security me? Dodge Shop. 24-7 at securitydodge.com during their dad Dodge Power Shot Days Jeep Celebration Event and Ram Truck Month. Excellent, excellent question. Great job, Anthony Pusick. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully Michael's back tomorrow. We'll wait and get a text from him probably later tonight. Either way, we're going to have to break down the Knicks Pistons. We'll preview the Rangers. Baseball season just a couple days away. In the words of Billy Joel, Zanzibar. Am I right? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Everyone. All right, business leaders, let's talk ice emergencies. Ever have your approved vendor drop?